Hi, everybody, and welcome to Stello Stadium and Nashville ETV's broadcast of high school football. Tonight, it is the Merrimack Tomahawks coming in at 5-2 and two against the undefeated National High School North Titans. I'm Tom King, along with Ron Welver. Ron Welver, remember my name tonight? I think you will. And anyway, this is a classic because I'll tell you what, Despite the two-game differential in records, I think these teams are almost evenly matched. Absolutely. This is a playoff potential for Merrimack. They, it's a huge game for them. They have to win. And I will remember your name, Tom, because I got your picture right you in front of me. You got it right there. I mean, you should carry that around everywhere with and you. And that's anyway. right. And every time I mess it up tonight, never I leave a home bunch with, of quarters right here to donate ne to them. Never leave home without it. But you're right, though. Merrimack definitely, they can actually... Ron, they could lose this game and it not have their playoff status affected in terms of making it. They can afford one more loss with two lo with two games. And I think next week, I'm not sure who they play, but I think they're pretty heavily favored in that game. So in my mind, this is a challenge game for them. This is a game to take them to the next level. It's a, it's and, I, and I think, you know, from what we've seen from both teams, you know, it flip a coin. Totally agreed, Tom. Um, it brings them to the next level. Next week they get a winless winner kind of team. And this, this game is a game confidence for Merrimack High School. They got some good running backs. They got Jared Dyer, as you wrote about him on his, your article the other day, Tom. Uh, they got a quarterback who can run, who can throw, and uh, Devin Wood, and they got Zach Trudelski out there. Right, and, you know, James Dowling. The thing with James Dowling is you just want to make sure you don't have to throw too much because sometimes it goes to the other team. I've seen uh, uh, a, a lot of turnovers. Turnovers will be could be the difference in this in this game. Dowling, however, is more almost as much of a danger to run the ball as he is to throw it. I like him sometimes at running back because I think he runs pretty well. Well, Dan, and, Kip, they've, and they've used him. Kip, Kip Jackson has used him at, at, at running back and put in number fifteen, Kyle Crampton, at quarterback. We'll see if that happens tonight. It didn't happen the last couple of weeks. Well, Dave but Jackson, we'll see if they do it tonight. Offensive coordinator Dave Jackson loves to have running quarterbacks. Go back to Billy Ferrett way back then a few years ago. Yep. He didn't throw a touchdown pass all year. One of the best players in the state. Why? Because he could run. Because he could run, exactly. And that's the thing. But, of course, who else to talk about with Nashua North but the, the kid who is the whole versus the sum of the parts with Merrimack. And that's Curtis Harris for Nashua North because – he can throw it. He can run it. He's done, you know, he's done it all year long. He's probably the best football player right now in the state, or one of, I mean, in terms of offensive production. And don't forget his play on defense. So as, as well as all the skilled people we talked about with Merrimack can play defense. Absolutely. Something's got to give you a run. Absolutely, Tom. And, and, and I'm looking for one of these teams, especially coming into the playoffs, to put a spy on him. I mean, even if you put a spy on him, that opens up Anthony Green, and as you saw last week, um, Sam Nichols deep over the middle, and Jaden Espinal. So they, they had to respect those other guys, and uh, Harris found some open holes, and he was gone. Well, the last time we did North was a couple of weeks ago. You and I did the game, and they had an injury late in that game that may affect them tonight. We don't know yet. In Zach Mazak, their center. Talk about that for a second, what, uh, and what, what, what difference that can make. Yeah, we got uh, soft sophomores at Ryan um, Bourgeois coming in to play center. Heard nothing but good things about him, but he is a sophomore. Right, and, exactly. And if, if, some, if uh, something happens to him, who's the next center to come in? And you, you know as well as I do, Tom, you got to get that snap down. If you get someone like a, a – there's four freshmen that came up. I'm not sure if one of them is a center or not. But if that snap count – it comes up slower. The timing's a little bit off. That could make a big difference. So, well, he's had two weeks to practice it. That's from absolutely. And I've so heard nothing. That, and that and that could help. And also, you know, it's, it's important that that he can get off the ball quickly because, you know, you want to free up Curtis Harris. Harris, as we've seen, he hits the hole. The question is, can he get two steps through that hole? and go by the second level. If he gets into that second level, he's gone. Well, it's, it's the read option is his play. It goes back like the 70s, the triple option with the um, with the wishbone. Now it's the read option. He reads it, puts it in the stomach of Green. He sees the hole open. He's gone. So they have to respect that read option and block that hole on him. And now hopefully they can stop Green and contain him on the outside. Well, one of the guys who's going to have to do it is Jared Dyer. We mentioned him before, but you've seen this kid play. He is just... Uh, I, I, you know, he's, he's right up there in terms of being recruited. 
for colleges because they've got to be looking at him because he's a six foot four kid, about 245, 250 pounds, who can run very well, catch the ball, throw the ball, run the ball, and very, you know, you don't have many kids like that. And on defense, he's a beast. So. What it do you wasn't do? by accident the size you're throwing out there. So I'm looking at his family. His family I mean, right. you wrote about it the other day. His mom, Jen, is two-time state um, state Hall of Famer in uh, different sports. And uh, his brothers, his families, his father, grandfather was coaching. This it's is an his athletic kid. family. Absolutely. And he's and got all the right genes. And like I said in the story, he's spending his inheritance wisely already. You know, and, and we'll see how that all works out. And then you see some Pop Warner kids out there with the Nashville North Titans. I love it when they do that. That's a good On thing. senior night, they bring out yeah. the Pop Warner, the, uh, a, the Nashville that, Force. Yep. And that's a good, uh, the Powell Force kids, that's a good aspect. That's the North's so, future. They're the eighth graders, right. the seventh graders coming up. So before they do the halftime toss, or the uh, pregame toss, we will have our national anthem played by the National High School North Marching Band. ready to play football they'll go to the 50 yard line midway midway through the 50 and do the coin toss we'll see who receives if you're if uh, if you're one of these two teams what would you do tonight would you defer or would you uh, would you take the ball first I, i'm a defer guy take especially if north gets it they want the two possessions right at the uh, end of the half and beginning of the second half also we got to watch out for we talked about this you know, last week. i understand that but let's well, hold on right, a second right, all okay. right let's talk hold about it what guarantee do you have that ah. you're going to get the ball before but the end of the half. There is no guarantee, but if you do, you have two straight possessions. We right. can be huge if. in a close game. Uh, if. But let's know? not forget about one thing, Tom. We talked about it last week. Hell, Harris has no touchdown passes. You saw his arm oh, last no, week no, no. He off does. the read option. He threw a couple last week. Last week, I'm talking about. Weeks, that's what I'm talking ago. about. He showed his arm last week. Now he he has a great arm. Right. He threw a rocket to Sam Nichols over the middle. I think He's the, on the run. I think the key with Harris throwing tonight, though, Ron, is can they protect him? With the loss at center, can the sophomore, you know, complete his assignments, which is not only the snap, but it's also the protection. You know, that's going to be huge. Yeah, Jared Dyer is going to be right in the middle there, too, working he on is, that center. And the thing is, is I talked to Kip Jackson earlier in the week, and he said, you know, we don't put him in one place. We move him around so teams can't game plan that way. And that's smart on their part because he's that versatile that he can play multiple positions on defense and get to the football. We shall see, Tom. This is what it's all about. Yes, it is. And uh, elsewhere, there's a couple of other big games tonight. Bishop Girton is at Spalding. That is a key game for the Cardinals. It's a survival game. They really need to win out to force any of the tiebreakers to see if they have a shot at the playoffs and finish 6-3. and three. You know, we've talked about the playoffs before, Ron. I think it's going to be one, and we both agree, there's one from the Seacoast, which is going to be Exeter, Absolutely. who will be here next Friday night, by the way. Against South. face Nashville South. And there'll be three from the West, which is going to be Nashville North, and then two others, who those two others will be. Well, we'll find out in the next two it's weeks. It's probably going to be from this division. Well, that's, that's a huge it. game for South. That's next just week, it. Too. It will be from that conference. So if South can take care of business tonight in Dover, then they have a shot, and same with you know, same with Merrimack. So we will see what happens. It's a lot of intrigue, but I'm looking at the fact you wonder the way things play out, how they'll play out. Will these two teams meet again in two weeks on this field? They played a classic 
game in the mud at Student Memorial Field a Last year ago year. in the yes. quarterfinals. A classic. And you a 6 nothing game in overtime won by Merrimack. You wonder if they'll meet each other or, or will Nashville North and Nashville South play? That's, there's a lot to Wouldn't be, be worked out. would be the first time they played three times it, in a season. It's, Thanksgiving it'll be the second time. They did it back in 2010. So we will see how it all works out. And let's see right now, looking at the alignment, it appears that Nashville North won the toss, or or either way, but they're going to receive. They're receiving some. We don't know receiving. if they, we don't they won or not. or not. Right. Because they're not sure if they're going to have the ball at the end of the half. Exactly. So we'll see. See how it all works out. Adam Prezak will kick off. He's on the left hash. Yep. And the ball is going to roll. It's taken at the three yard, at the one yard line. Anthony Green. Yep. And I think he was afraid that it was going to, uh, you know, roll in the end zone. He had to pick it up. Otherwise, Merrimack could have gotten it. As we know, 10 it's yards. It's ball. a fumble. Right. It's a live so ball. He had to pick it up. He so. Waited to the last second. So the Titans will take over first and 10, but they're only going to be at their 12-yard line. Curtis Harris, the quarterback. He's got Green in the backfield with him. And a low snap, and there is the problem right there. That's the start of what we talked about, the low snap to Harris. And might be, some, might it be just pre-jitters, and uh, he, he should be okay. But uh, there's Dyer right over top of him in the middle. Exactly. That ball was it had to be picked up right away. Otherwise, Dyer would have scooped it up. They know the weakness, and they're going to exploit it. Second down and 13, the ball at the 8-yard line. Harris will hand off. That's this Espinal. time, Espinal cuts around, and he is leveled. Zach Twardowski nice with the hit. tackle. That was a nice hit. So Espinal, and we've got a player down, and it's a Merrimack player. And it looks like it's uh, Devin Wood. And Devin Wood is a key player for this football team. <laughs> Devin wide receiver and a defensive back. It looks like it might have been a block on the back side, Tom, because they were coming this way on the read option. Well, Espinal maybe got a yard, and that's about it. It'll be third down. It looked like he was going to get more yardage on that, but um, her, it sure did. Harris held down to the ball, setting up his read option run right up the middle. They've got to get to the 18-yard line. They're at the they're at the eight now. Third and ten from the eight-yard line. But we're going to be a while. Let's take a look at Wood. He is now flipped over on his back, and Kip Jackson is out there with the trainer. So now he's going to be getting up. There he is. There he is. He's up. Hopefully it's just the wind knocked out of him. He looks dazed. He's walking fine, but he looks like he's dazed. So I, my guess is we may not see Devin Wood in this game again, but we'll see. Now we'll play it, too. He looks, uh, he's going slow, but... Uh, well, that's just it. Uh, his head down is his uh, but this, this body is a different, language. This is a different era, Ron. When they start looking days like that, they don't put him back out there you anymore. Got that. You got that. Third down and 10 for the Titans. Harris rolls out, looking to run. Goes across the 10, the 15, and down to the 16. He'll be shy, I believe, of a first down by about two yards, two and a half yards. So Harris got out there, but not quite enough, and the Titans will have to punt. It was pretty much a scramble run, uh, Tom. I'm not sure if he was going to intend to pass the uh, ball. He, he was it. looking to pass it. He had the ball out like he was ready to cock and throw, and then took, tucked it in and ran, so we'll see. Merrimack's going to get the ball in decent field position, Ron. It's going to roll right about where Twardowski was. To Down receive by number it. eight, Devin yep. Basidi. <laughs> and that'll do it. First and 10, 50 yard line for the, Nash, for the Merrimack High School Tomahawks. But boy, we saw the effect on that first play 
with the center. Special teams play a good kick, causing North to have to have the ball deep in their own territory, a bad, bad snap at center, and the Titans don't start out very well, but at least they don't turn it over. But now Merrimack gets to reap the rewards of all that with first and 10 at the 50-yard line. Spread Great. formation, but Dowling at quarterback. Dowling at quarterback, Trudowski in the backfield. Dave Jackson has like three coaches sending in different signals. Dyer is the second from the top of your screen. They go trips left right off the bat. He's coming out throwing. And he throws it over the middle, it's incomplete. He looked to his left and fired to down the middle and the pass was intended for number 21 for Merrimack, Ryder Morse. Yeah, he looked left to the trips to try to sucker um, Curtis Harris over there, but it, it didn't work. Harris was right there, the ball was a little bit overthrown. Second and 10 from the 50. That's, that's respect for Harris right there on defense, Tom. They have to look him away from the play. Dowling with a quick fat pass to the out. It is complete. And nice tackle, tackle there by Jaden yeah, Espinal. Espinal. It looked like it was at uh, number, number five, I believe, on the reception. James Sir, Jameson Servicus. Couldn't tell it was Dyer Savigas, but I think it was the second receiver. Oh, a gain of two, third and eight from the 48. Well, it doesn't surprise me. Dave Jackson's coming out throwing. We know the arm that James Dowling has. Now it's trips to the other side, Tom. Now here comes Dowling. He's going to roll out. Fires on the run. It's almost picked off and incomplete. Curtis Harris right there, Tom, Harris, right at him. Harris is as good on defense as he is on offense. That was a good defensive call, Tom. They had trips going out there. I'm not sure if they were in a zone or man-to-man, -man, but I'm pretty sure Harris had man-to-man. -man. And he's so fast, he can get to that ball quickly. Fourth and eight from the 48, but they will punt. But you know what? Nashville North is going to not, you know, unless they get a good return, maybe he's stuck with bad field position. Again, low snap. And it's a line drive kick. Those should end up better off than they were before. It's going to bounce out of bounds somewhere around the 30-yard line. Yeah, they, uh, that was playing kick, I think, Tom. They, want, they didn't want Harris getting the ball in the open field back there. Right now, it's a field position game, Tom. Well, North just got a field position break because the threat of Harris back there causes them to have the ball at the 30, North to have the ball at the 31-yard line while they'll take over first to 10. No score, 9.26 left to play in the first quarter. Harris, the quarterback, Green next to him. And Espinal on the sweep play across the 30, and he's going to be driven out of bounds at about the 33-yard line. Going right at Zach Twardowski again. He held his ground out there and they made did. a nice tackle. James Dowling on the tackle. Was that Dowling? Yeah, Dowling was out there with the tackle. Well, I thought Espinal got a couple yards. He did. He got out to the 33. Second down and eight from the 33 yard line. They're trying to get a um, game going to the outside, Tom. Well, we haven't seen, we've seen Harris run with it once. I have a feeling he wants to run now. He does, and there he goes. And he's gonna cut through and the hole closes, but he gets out to about the 38 yard line. Right there, Dyer makes a stop. Dyer coming from the left side to come in and make that tackle. And they're going to mark it right just shy at the 38-yard line. He got about five. It'll be third down in a long three, third and four, they'll call it, at the 38. Looks like Dyer's at uh, D end over there, right defensive they end. They move him at D end. They put him in linebacker. Line. They put him anywhere. Harris out of the shotgun. It's a straight sweep. And he's going to cut to the side. He's got the first down he's and gone. more. He's across the 50, the 40, the 30. See you later. Curtis Harris is in the end zone for a Nashville North touchdown, and I do not see any flags on the field. Curtis Harris, that is a 62-yard touchdown run for Curtis Harris. Well, Brian Morongi, number 41, was leading the way. I'm not sure if Ermac thought he had the ball or not, but uh, Harris found the opening, as we talked about before, and he was gone. And there is the hole, and now we wait and see how the sum of the other parts on Merrimack does because Curtis Harris just puts North That's what he does. on the board with six points. And now Lucas Cunningham will attempt the extra point. Yeah. 
snap is down, kick is up, looks like it's gonna be good, and it is, Lucas Cunningham. And it is a seven nothing Nashua North lead here with 8.30 to play in the first quarter. Sixty-five yard run. I got it at sixty-two. It was at the uh, thirty-eight yard line. So sixty-two yard run for Harris. We're gonna have to take three yards off the stats. I'm sorry, Ron. That's just the way it is. It's not negotiable. You're the one that has to it's, answer to the stats, it's, not it's, me. It's not. It's non-negotiable. Non-negotiable. My only stats I'm keeping track of is to call you the right name. <laughs> <laughs> Harris on the night. Remember, he lost eight yards on the uh, first actually, play. Actually, well, actually not, not eight yards. He lost uh, f uh, five yards. So he is basically uh, four carries for 67 yards. Cunningham will kick off. Is that Sam? I think it was Sam Nichols, isn't it? Number two? I mean, yeah, that's Cunningham. Nichols. Nichols kicks off. You're right. Good point, Ron. Good point. That's Thank you, Tom. We, that's, that's what, what I'm here for. Here. Line drive caught at the 18 yard line. And Wood is back out there. I believe that was Wood. It, it looked was. like he was looking to pitch it back here, Tom. So Devin Wood is back out there. So he, he did look like he was looking to lateral it. And Might have just lost his breath on that play a few plays back, Tom. That's all. And Nothing like getting the wind knocked out of you. You're an old-fashioned football player, Duck. If you can walk, you can play. First and 10 at the 32-yard line for the Tomahawks. They went three and out their first series. James Dowling is the quarterback. Hand off, that's Twardowski, and he is going nowhere. I'd say they lost a yard on that play, and they did. It'll be second and 11. Look for the time off. I don't have Justin Edwards on my Tom, do you, do you have Tom? It's a nice play by number 57. No, I don't. We'll, we'll, we'll take Jason out. Roby's word for we'll it. We'll have to find out what number he's got. Jason, Justin Edwards is 57. Dowling's going to throw. He's going to go deep. Over the middle, incomplete. Over through Devin Wood. Nice coverage by Chris Azevedo, though. That had to be a perfect throw. It did. Throw to be a complete. It did. And I watched Dowling, Rod. He, he's got a good arm. He got that ball, and he had to roll the ball a little bit in his hand. And I think that disrupted his timing a little bit. Probably did. Yep. So it'll be uh, third down and 11. Does throw a nice ball, but if he gets a little little air into that thing, the receivers just might be able to run under. It's one out of four for two yards. Third and 11 from the 31. And he's all to that side, completely the dire. flat. There's Dyer. Dyer. And Dyer to first down across the 50-yard line. I think that had to be a mistake in coverage somewhere because Dowling looked to Dyer the entire time. Well, they, they feigned, feigned the screen pass left, and that might have got the attention of the outside linebackers. That got Dyer open on the little screen pass, and then he runs like a freight train from there. A gain of 20 yards is first and 10 from the, from the north 49-yard line. Dyer gets the ball, and Dyer is nailed at the line of scrimmage. Kid can do it all, I'll tell you. Run, throw, and tackle. Ran into a bunch run, of Nashville North players. Run, throw, block, and tackle. You gotta like it. It's a huge series for Merrimack, Tom. Seven well, minutes, 14 seconds well, Ron, left to go in the first series, quarter. It's a huge series, but we're still in the first quarter. A lot could happen. Still early. Second and 10, Twardowski. Burrows his way to the five yard line. Nice run by Twardowski, he got four yards. Whiting on the tackle, and that's somebody we, that they're gonna really rely on defensively. So Twardowski got a long four, it'll be third and six from the 45 yard line, just across the 45. They're looking Dowling left. looking left and throws, and Dyer cut inside and the pass was thrown outside. It looks like the same exact play they uh, had success with it a couple did, plays back. They looked at the screen left and they tried right, to hit Dyer. Except Dyer 
And Miscommunication yeah, somewhere. Yeah, definitely we're not on the same page. It'll be fourth down. What do you do here? Well, they're thinking about it. I, I, I just think that this is an opportunity to pin Nashville North deep again. It's early in the football game. If you don't score here, you may give them a really golden opportunity for Harris. Now, they can still kick out of this formation, though, Tom. They can, but I don't think they're going to. They're not. Dowling with the throw on fourth down. It's oh. almost intercepted and dropped. Espinal had it and dropped it, but no harm, no foul. North takes over in great field position. He threw a button hook over to Ryan Morse on the left side, and um, that's a nice setup for a stop and go pass padding. I'll tell you right there. Sure Espinal made a beautiful play. Almost got a you pick can six see out. why they're five and two. They've got the skill position people, but now the real estate is cut in half. North takes over first and ten at the 50 yard line. Harris hands off to Espinal, who cuts inside it. A nice run by Espinal, and almost, almost went. He's still on his feet. They don't mark him down at like the 37. They kept him going. He's all the way to the 28-yard line, 29-yard line. That looked like he was down from here, but I didn't see it up close. It sure did, but that's a great run by Jaden Espinal. Harris-esque, if you will. He gets 21 yards on the run. And what do we talk about? If you got to start respecting Espinal and Green, watch out for Harris. Watch out for Harris. And now it's first and 10 from, the, from the, the other side. It's at the back of the 30-yard line, Tom, where he's first down, I think. 29-yard line where they marked it. And this is Green on a sweep to the left. And he tiptoes his way probably to about the 38 yard nice line. Nice job of containment by cornerback Zach Twardowski there, Tom. He's got a blocker right on him, but he kept it inside of him and made the hit at the same time. Good play. Wow, they didn't give him much. They didn't give him anything. I thought he made it to the 28. Second Looks like Merrimack's putting Twardowski on the wide side of the field. I'm not sure if they well, were doing that Where's Dyer? That's the thing. I think Dyer, they're staying away from him, Tom. Dyer is on the right, right side defensive of the end. line. Yep, right defensive end. Harris signals. Hands off. Believe this is Green. Was it? Or Mwangi? Brian Mwangi. Brian Mwangi. And Mwangi is down to the 19, no, oh, the 20-yard line. Let's see where they might. No, 22 it looks like. 23 yard it looks line. like um, Kip Jackson might have had um, Dyer crashing down on that uh, back, who's right behind the guard. And that got um, Mwangi open in the outside. Third and four from the 23. Oh, what a hole for Mwangi. Mwangi all the way down to the 11 yard line. That, the Red Seas parted. Unbelievable. What a block by number 77, Aiden McGrath. Took his man right down, opened the hole up. Good job. Unbelievable. Ball marked at the 13 yard line, gain of 10. Seven. Espinal across the 10 yard line and gang tackled and fights his way down about the eight. Wow. Not sure if Espinal was supposed to go to the outside there, Tom, because right tackle Aiden McGrath actually pulled out to the right to go after the linebacker to seal him. I think that play should have went outside. Second down and six, the ball to seven. Green, and he is met right away at the line of scrimmage. That was number 79 for Merrimack with the tackle. Dylan Sadowski, nice tackle. He was right there. Green ran right into him. Well, he, I think he went right through the hole with a right guard pulled to the left, Tom. And um, he came right through the hole and busted the play up. Who they can get anything started. Third down, ball at the seven yard line. Seven between the seven and the eight. Here we go.
Harris cuts inside. Harris is met and stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Nothing there for Curtis Harris. Espinal took a hit. He was limping off the field, but he's going to stay on. That's not a good sign. He's okay. He's back on the field. Harris now comes to the sidelines. Looks like we're going to go field goal here. Yes. Well, we know Cunningham can kick. Yep, from the 16. It'll be a 26-yard field goal attempt. And here we go for Cunningham from the right hash. He kicked the game winner over Exeter from the left. Kick is up. It's a and high one. And it is high, and it is good. <laughs> so Lucas Cunningham, 26 yards. Hey, held up goal. breath on that one, Tom. A bit went way up in the air and came down. Perfect kick. Looked like a good wedge shot that landed about three feet from the hole on the green. Duck. Is there a wrestling match out there going on in front of us here? What's going on? So, we've got 2.59 left to go in the first quarter, and it's a 10-0 Nashua North lead. They have jumped out on top of the Titans. Well, after that long run by Espinal, Merrimack will take that. It's all that practice in the gym over there, right, Mr. Roby? He's outside. Nothing yep. like a hard-working kid, and that's what Lucas Cunningham is. Yeah, they, they had to move outside because the ball started landing in some classrooms. They weren't too happy about it. <laughs> One of them might have landed in Jen Dyer's classroom, which is right down the hall. Right down the hall, yeah, exactly. 10-0, Nashville North leads it. Let's see if Sam Nichols will kick down to Devin Wood again. Merrimack obviously wants their deep men to get the ball. Taken at the 16-yard line. Uh-oh, cut up the middle, and he's going to be almost gone. Let's see. That's Trudowski. That's Trudowski all the way down. Yeah, all the way down to the 19-yard line. Sam Nichols, the looked kicker. Like, looked like he took the ball at the 13. And that's what Merrimack needed. He flew right down the middle, Tom. Used think, the block, I, cut to the I, outside, I, I and Sam he, Nichols saved the touchdown. I think he touchdown. got it at the 13-yard line. I'm not positive but he takes it all the way down to the 19. So if I do my math right, a 59 yard return. It's Dyer. Dyer to the 15. Second and five. Another push forward. Dyer again, and he's right near the first down marker. Looks like Merrimack's going to try to power it in from here, Tom. Setting up the play action also. He's Dyer in motion. Just shy. Was Dowling on the keeper. Wow. It's a nice fake to Dyer because they've been handing off to him all game. Yep, exactly. And we talked about Dowling. He can pass. He also can run. Showed his speed right there. So Dowling gets about eight yards. It's first and goal from about the one and a half. I think you know who's going to here. Yep, and Dyer is in for the touchdown. Merrimack on the board. That was good old smash mouth football, Tom. Here That's we come, stop us. Give it to their best exactly. guy. Exactly. Right You've only got 20 yards to go. You don't have to finesse it, and they didn't have to. All right, Reese Lopez will add, try to add the extra point with 147 left to go in the quarter. Snap is low, but kick is up. It looks like it's going to be pretty good, and it is. So, 
You've got a Curtis Harris, 62 yard run. A Lucas Cunningham, 26 yard field goal. And a Jared Dyer, two yard touchdown run. All set up, a nice return by Zach Podolsky. <laughs> exactly, and we got a 10-7 football game here at Stellos Stadium. We talked about Merrimack, Tom, and the athletes they have. Also, we did a, here on ETV, we did Bishop Girton's field hockey game earlier in the season. They beat Winnicottin earlier in the week in a, in, a quarter, in a preliminary round game. They knocked off Bedford. And today, they knocked off number three, Winnicottin. So the Cardinals will make it to the semifinals. And Merrimack knocked off top seed Pinkerton as well. Concord upset Londonderry. Wyndham is the only team in the field hockey semis that has a top four designation. So a lot of going on with the field hockey, but congratulations to both the Merrimack and the Bishop Girton High School field hockey teams. They made the semis. Short kick is up, and the Titans will take it at the 34-yard line. He got it at the 20, 14-yard <laughs> return. I'm not sure who that is, Tom. I don't know, but you had about 50 people in on the tackle. Cody Keith who hit the tackle. So now it's first and 10 for National North. Here with 140 to go. First and 10 Titans at the ball at the 35 yard line. BG leads Spalding with a nine minute drive to start the, the game, seven nothing out in Rochester. Harris will keep it this time. Harris isn't gonna get very far unless you see him go through those bodies. And he's brought down and around the line of scrimmage, I think, no gain. Three or four people on there tackled. No gain for Harris, it'll be second down. <coughs> second and 10, the ball at the 36. Well, they get a second and nine. Give him a yard. Harris. Harris cuts through the opening, stumbles, cuts outside. See if he can turn the corner. One man to beat, and he can't quite beat him. But what's the difference? Harris brings the ball down to the Merrimack 34-yard line. What do you think of that run, Ron? Well, it was a fake to Ethanol, but Ethan Merrill went right to the running back, and that's where the hole opened up, and Harris zoomed. There he goes. And there it is, Curtis Harris. A 30-yard gain for Harris. First and 10 at the 34. And Harris hands off to Mwangi, and he's brought down at the 36-yard line. A loss there of two yards. Second and 12. Is that 52? Melee number 52. We don't have them on our list. Second, but you know, you go back to the when your kids forget shirts and they throw other numbers on them. That's right. Second and 12 at the 36 yard line. No first name, just one name. Melee. Right now he's creating melee. Harris may have to actually throw the football or are we going to get a timeout? We're going to get a timeout. The oh, end the end of the quarter. quarter. How about that? It flew by. The end of the first quarter, everybody, and we've got a great one. Going on here at Stella Stadium, the score is Nashville North 10 and Merrimack 7. Ducky, your thoughts on that first quarter? Well, you know what? We're looking at, wow, Nashville looks like it's going to be another route. Merrimack comes right back with a big run, big play. They're using Dyer. Dowling ran one time. If they can get him running a little bit more, open up that passing game a little bit, they have to sucker those people in, the cornerbacks, and then Cliff and Harris to get that deep ball going. You think he's going to throw a pass on this series? I wonder. Right now, Harris doesn't have to. He's, he's averaging, what, four, right. 20 yards a carry right now. Right. But that's what we said last week, and then he, throw, he can throw right over the middle. He so. has six carries for 97 yards. And they are starting to move up to respect that run. Look for the pass. Second down and 12 to start the quarter. Ball's going to be at the 37-yard line.
Looks like the 42-yard line of Merrimack, Tom. Cliff Harris taking the ball. Spread formation. You got Mwangi in the backfield with him. Is that Mwangi? No, that's Anthony that Green? Green is the lone setback. Mwangi goes He's in, motion. in motion. Harris straight ahead to Green. Green across the 35 to about the 34-yard line, a gain of about three. It's hit sets by the, a, uh, James Dowling out there. Sets up a third and a long nine from the 34. So here we go, third and nine. Does he put it up, Ron? 11-25. They're just changing underway. the play now. They must have saw something, Tommy. Yep. Changing the call. Yeah, at the he line is of changing the call. Harris gets the word out to his center. He gets the word out to his running back. He is going to put it up for the end zone. A rainmaker is right. Nichols can't hold on to it, and a flag down. Wow, I don't know about that one, but that's that's a tough call. But. It, it's going to go against Merrimack probably for pass interference. Well, there's no replays in high school football. No, Brent Mesh, uh, <coughs> Meshelowitz seemed to be right there going after the football with him, and it collided with Sam Nichols. Nichols got his hand on the ball but wasn't able to catch it, and it's going to be a 15-yard penalty from the line of scrimmage. Remember, it's not the spot. It's not a spot foul. It's 15 yards from the line. So I'll give him a first down, Tom. First down at the 19. So North. First and 10 at the 19 yard line. Well, they did change the play, Tom, to a pass. Handoff's gonna go to Milwaukee. He's oh, across the 15, but a nice tackle. Looked like Wood. Devin Wood with a nice tackle on the play. So that's what we mean by the Merrimack's big players. They can do they can do things on both sides of the football, and there's a loss of a not yeah, a loss. Two, two they get down. They, Wood get and down to, they come yeah. they come to play. They hit like linebackers. They sure do. They got down to the 15 yard line, so he gains four. Second and six at the 15. What's the call here, coach? Read option. Yep, and he reads run. And he goes straight ahead across the 15 yard, across the 10 to the nine. Should have a first down. Good call, Ron. Not bad. Second and one, no need to put it up right here, Tom. Not with the running game there. It should be a first down. It's close to it. It is a first and goal. Harris with a first down. Six yards on the run, first and goal from the nine. He's over the 100 yard mark. He's gonna keep it. And he's going into the end zone for a touchdown, a nine yard TD run for Curtis Harris. He made the quick fake to Green, Tom, but he not only goes in powerful, but he goes in side, he's hard to bring down, he's slippery. He goes in hard, turns to the side, a little extra speed, and he's in the end zone. Eight carries, 111 yards, two touchdowns. In, in 14 minutes. Two minutes into the period for that score. Cunningham attempted the extra point, being held by Jaden Espinal. Snap back, ball down, kick. Looks Up like it's good. good, and it's good. All right, Mr. Welber, we're in the second quarter. Be my guest. With 10 minutes and two seconds left to go in the second quarter, it's Nashua North 17, Merrimack 7. So, so far, Tom, they haven't had an answer to uh, Mr. Harris. He's only thrown it once and was a... Uh, well, they had an answer down they did. In, this, in the second series when he was stopped. They don't have an answer here on the next drive, but it was penalty aided. 
on a pass interference play. So that's a that's a big play right there. Pass, uh, not a really good throw for Harris. It was a high, high ball, high pass, and but Nichols almost came down with it despite the penalty. He almost had it, and the call was that he was hit. That was a straight fly pattern, Tom, and it's like throw it as high as you can, and I'll run underneath it. Exactly. Nothing fancy about it. One on one. Nichols will kick off. And you can bet that they will try to make sure they don't have a 59-yard return like they had. We've got Zach Twardowski the down there deep, Tom. With, um, is that Devin Wood back there with him? Let's see. No. He's bent over. He can't see his number. It's not seven. Now, this is a bounce. That was Zach Trudowski running right up the middle to the 20 yard line. He's all the way out Devin, to the 30. Devin Persetti with the stop. First and 10 for Merrimack at their own 30 yard line. Now they're gonna drive the field, Tom. They're in a spread formation. Looks like Dowling is Get five receivers, trips right, slot to the left side. He's a lone backfield with quarterback. Looks like a pass. Dowling fakes like he's going to pass. The quarterback draw out to the 37-yard line, a seven-yard gain. Well, I'll tell you what, if they keep doing that, Nashville's going to have to put their hands on Dowling right away. It seemed like they hesitated, Ron, because he hesitated. Well, that's what Dave Jackson did. He spread them out a little bit, give Dowling some running room. We talked about his, his running ability, and he showed it twice already. And like you said, he gets seven yards and be second and three. Number 72, Cole Chamberlain. Looks like he's coming out. Maybe an equipment uh, problem Yeah, or officials something. called timeout, so it had to be an A like chin strap issue. issue or something like that. Yep. Double slot formation. Dowling hits the snap, runs hard to the left side, swarmed by Nashville North players. Tackle made by number seven, Jaden Espinal. Espinal made the tackle, Ron, but I'll tell you who, who, who really limited the play was Devin Brissetti. He missed his tackle, but he, his charge kept Dowling from being able to turn it upfield, and it was a nice defensive play by the Titans. Good play all around. Now we got the right side of the field. Merrimack moving from my right to left. And it's third and five. Third and five. They're going with five receivers again. Trips to the right, slot to the left side. Dowling alone on the backfield. Goes back to pass, looking downfield. Now he rolls to his left side. Taken down by number 63, Jose Velasquez. Wow. That's a great play by Velasquez who basically had to just keep eyeing Dowling wherever he went. And you know what? When you play to the short side of the field, you help the defense out, and that's what Merrimack did right there. Yeah, they had trips to the other side. Yep. And, um, if, but he gets around Velasquez. He's got a game. It's a nice play. And it'll be fourth down, and Merrimack will have to punt. Punt formation, snap is low, kick is off. All the way down to the Nashville North Harris 40. Harris is going to pick Harris it up. gets it at the 29-yard line. Cuts to the right, cuts back to the left, swings around. And, and no. now he's muscling his way all the way to the 33 yard line <laughs> with about five or six tackles. He, ex he executed maximum effort for minimal gain. Justin Fournier was right there to slow him down. Number eight for Merrimack. And the Titans will have to take it over <laughs> first and 10. It shows, shows the power that Harris has. Not only is he fast, he does the spin moves. He can run with power, he can run to the outside. What doesn't he do, Tom? First and 10 at the 33. If he does any more, he'll be overdoing Jason Roby's job, calling the game. Nasher out of the spread formation. Running backs to the right, I believe it's green. Oh, I see read option here again. Actually, green was to the left, straight, straight shot sweep to Harris, who jogs out to the outside, makes it to the outside. Runs out of bound by number 12, Jared Dyer. Well, the Tomahawks had him. 
They had him back at the 33-yard line and missed him. Harris, and he waited for his block. He slowed down to a he's crawl. He's very good at the hesitation on, on the runs, and when that happens, he just took off, and now he's at the 43-yard line for a first and 10, a gain of 10 yards. He's now 9 for 121 and two TDs. This time Green is to his right. Double slot. In motion is Mwangi. He gets the handoff. He's running behind Green. Look, Green's looking for a blocker. Mwangi cuts up field. Brought down at the 50 yards, the 49-yard line. That was Mwangi. 18, James Dowling. Green was out there to try to block. So was number 56 for Dash Ridor, Spencer Whiting. Second down and about two, two and a half, three yards to go. It's a nice run by Mwangi. He's at the 49 of Merrimack. A gain of eight. Seven minutes. Straight up left in the second period. <coughs> Harris in the backfield. With Green to his left. Looks like a read option left. Fake screen pass left. Oh, there was Caught trouble. By, is that Sam Nichols? 16. No, number 16. Derek Finlay. Finlay with the catch. That was a read option pass, Tom, where it he was, actually faked the handoff, was going to run, then he saw know, Finley. But you know what slowed it down? The snap, he bobbled it. Timing was off just a little bit. You've got to have. It's third down and two. You've got to have perfect timing for that. And there's no gain on the play. Third and two. You know, the ball this is time, eight. Green is right up behind the guard. Third and a, and a, and a short two. It's like a power the eye formation. Snap right back to Harris, who follows Green right up the middle. Cuts There's to the outside, back to the inside, all the way to the 39-yard line. First down, Nashua North. How about that run? Power run by Harris. Just took the ball straight ahead, took a hit, kept moving the legs, took another hit, and then plowed into a pile of players at the 40-yard line. i got to apologize, Tom. I blinked for a minute, and he was gone for five yards. Yeah, that's what happens. That is what happens. A gain of eight yards for Harris. First and 10 for Nashua North at the Merrimack 40 yard line with five minutes, 47 seconds left to go. Clock is running. Harris in the backfield with Green right behind the left guard. Behind him is Mwangi, number 41. Like a power eye to the left side. Drop by drop, Harris. Drop is Harris. Mwangi still gets the ball, a couple yards to the left side. Wasn't a bad snap, it just looked like Harris dropped the ball. Maybe the snap was just a little lower than he expected it to be, but that slowed everything up. It's all a timing factor. Second and nine from the 39 yard line of Merrimack. They, they were lucky to get a yard out of it. Nice job by Murray, he ran hard. Oh, they both, he, Espinal, but we, Espinal got hurt. As you said, he limped off the field. We haven't seen him in the offensive formation. Yeah, remember Espinal did limp off. Yeah, up. Oh, Somebody happened. jumped. Somebody jumped, and it was on Merrimack, I believe. And knowing it right away was number 52 for the Tomahawks, Liam Novak. Or not Novak, that's the National North. Wrong side. 52 for Merrimack. And, of course, we don't have Is that one. Melee? That's Melee. Is it Melee? Okay. But I, I thought it was 62, Tom, Jonathan Nendel, but I might be wrong. Second down and four. Harris, read option left. Takes the ball, runs to the outside, cuts to the middle, comes back to the outside, coming down the sideline. See ya. And there he goes. Touchdown. Touchdown. Nashua North. <laughs> All right, what do you do, Ron, if you're Merrimack's defense? What do you do? Well, Nashua did open the running game up a little bit with Espinal and Mwangi. Not so much Green today. Green's been doing a lot of blocking. One little opening, and Harris is gone. Nobody's figured him out, Tom. Right now, Merrimack's having a real tough time with him. Nothing Beautiful is run going right defensively for Merrimack after that first series. Unbelievable. Harris right now. Harris is coming off the field, Tom. I think he's going to be selling popcorn in a couple of minutes. 11 carries. We'll give you the yardage in a second as Cunningham tries the extra point. 23-7 the score. Kick is up. It's high and right through the middle.
He is 11 carries for 163 yards and three TDs. It's a season for some people, Tom. Four minutes, 24 seconds left to go in the second quarter. National North 24, Merrimack 7. National North will be kicking off shortly. We have an injured player coming across the field from Merrimack. Looks like a shoulder injury, number 24. Connor Winslow from Merrimack. He's going to see the Nashua trainer, Aaron Dresser. Correction, 20. 20. Thank you for the correction. Steve Petz. The injured, the injured player is Steve Petz. Looks like he's fine, maybe a little shoulder injury. But you know what I wonder? Where's Espinal? I don't see him on the sideline, Tom, do you? No. Which means he may have gone inside. <laughs> oh, that's, they get the roll. That's what, what they done. wanted. They wanted that roll. And now, all of a sudden, Merrimack's going to have to take it at the 11-yard line. Long by Jordan Raisin and Andino right at the Merrimack 9-yard line. If you're special teams... There's something what, to be said, Tom. What the worked on that play? What worked on that play was a squib kick. It slowed the whole play down. Got the, the Nashua North uh, players down the field. Merrimack comes right out, dialing in the backfield. You got a double slot. In motion goes number nine. Jake Trahan. It looked like the read option, Tom, but um, something happened with the handoff of the fake and the ball fell down to the ground. So Merrimack loses five yards. Second down, 15 from the Merrimack four yard line. We have trips to the left side. Single receiver to the right. Dowling goes back to pass. He's thrown from his own end zone. Looks downfield deep for number oh. 21. He's right there. Ryder Morse. Well, I found Espinal. There is Espinal. He turned his back on the play. The and he fell split. down. I wonder if that ankle's still hurting him, but the ball fluttered a little bit. Nice play coming back by Ryder Morse, who came back to catch the ball for the nice game. A hey, fly ball to left field, and he makes the catch. A catch and is a catch is a catch, Tom. Exactly. First and 10, a 12-yard gain. First and 10 at the 25-yard 25 25 line. line. Dowling in the backfield, going right to left, double slot. Looks out to the right towards Dyer. He's thrown to Dyer on a quick out to the outside. Caught at about the 32 yard line. And I think that's what they have to do, Ron. They've got to get Dyer, the ball in Dyer's hands. They've got to get the ball in Wood's hands. They've got to do quick plays that the Titan defense can't settle for. And they probably want to run a no huddle. Tom, I was just thinking that myself. But you can't run a no huddle unless you practice it the week before. Pump and go, that's what we were talking about earlier. Pass all the way down the field to number 21. Ryder Morris once again defended by Espinal. Looks like they're trying to pick on Espinal. Maybe they think he's injured, Tom. I would, I would try right to, there, though. Yeah, he's right there. Well, he, he had a couple of steps on him, but after Espinal slowed up after he knew the ball was going to be overthrown. But you know what? You can't do that. You've got to stay with the play. You never know. I think that was that stop and go pattern we talked about earlier. Merrimack back in the spread formation. Third down and three here. I'd still, I'd run it to Dyer. They may want to throw it. Looks like in the backfield with they may want to throw. They may want to throw it here, Ron. Nope, they're going to hand it to Dyer. Hand off yep. to Dyer on left side. Powers his way all the way to the 40, 41 yard. That looks like close to a first down. Yeah, he got across the 35 to the 36, and that's where he had to be for that first down, and he got it. Good call, Tom. Hand off the dial, gets three, four yards. Yeah, it's you tough need to bring two, down. You need two or three yards. He's the guy to go to. You know, he's going to get it, and he got a running start. That's first, where the spread, the spread turns into a power. Right. First and 10 to 35. His dial in motion again. Now he goes trips to the left. Single receiver to the right is Devin Wood. Oh, now it looks like Zach Trudowski goes to the right, switching with Dyer, basically. 
Dowling gets a snap, back to pass. Look, screen right side, right Tap. there to make the play. It's number five. Cunningham, Lucas Cunningham. Lucas Cunningham. Nice Lucas Cunningham is a pretty good defensive player. It looks like that jailbreak screen we talked about last week, Tom. Quarterback looks away from the play. The wide receiver goes up the field a couple of yards, comes back, gets a screen pass, and hopes for a block. From exactly. The lineman, but it was blown up. Nice job by Cunningham. So they lose on that play three two yards. yards, two or three yards. You're right. I mean, when that screen works, it goes for big yardage. Here we Dowling go. gets a snap. Pump fake. Right down. Uh oh, he Pump almost was hit. There's that floating pass. Battle for the ball. Espinal has got it. By number seven, Espinal, who's right there. Well, it was a 50 50 ball, as they say in soccer, and that was a 50 50 pass. Espinal Could have been stayed by with either it. one of them. Nice job by Espinal. Yep. Right with them all the whole way. <laughs> Definitely. Boy, you know what, Ron? We talk about Harris and everything else, but Nashville North has played a pretty good defensive game so far. They're holding this Merrimack team to seven points in the first half. That's a pretty good job. Well, if you look at their scores throughout the season, the only one that scored more than two, one touchdown was, was, was Exeter. 149 left to play in the half, and we may see something here. Let's we'll see if Nashville North tries to cash in. Or do they? With spread formation in, in motion is number 16. It's a read option. Hand off to Derek Finlay. Flag down. It's the first penalty flag. First flag we've seen on a it's run play. It's been a clean play. game, Tom. It, it has. Been a clean game. First one we've seen on a run play. Well, penalty is going to be on the Titans. A, a, a shift, an illegal shift. So that'll move things back. It looks like they're just using Espinal on defense right now, which is a sign of their depth they have there, National North. Right now, yep. trips to the right side. Slot to the left. Harris, lone in the backfield. Takes the snap, fumbles the snap. Coming in, here comes Dyer. Knocks him down at the 11-yard line. Well, we've seen the problems. They've had plenty of them tonight with the snap. I think the, the snap was there. It's just the timing's a little off. Well, the snap was a little low, it looked like. So I, I, it looked to me like it was low. But you're right. The timing is off. You can snap it high or low, but if the timing's off, it's not going to work. So Harris, you had to take that off his yards. All the way back to the 15, they lose 16 yards on the play. Dyer, Dyer came in from the right side, got around his guy with foam on his mouth once he saw Harris going after the ball backwards. Took him down hard. It'll be second and 31. One minute, 14 seconds left to go in the second. And I now wonder, you may see the ball in the air, Tom. And Merrimack took the timeout because they can get the ball back. That's what they're going to try to do. <laughs> That's going to be an interesting call. If I'm them, why put it up with the risk of an interception. They don't seem, they haven't used the pass except for one play tonight. <laughs> I, I can't see National North being conservative. They got a swagger going on right now. You're down at the 15 yard line though, Ron. Agreed, you know? agreed Tom. You, if Harris pops a run, you can get him out to the 40, you can get out to the 40 yard line. Going in the spread formation. Yeah, I don't, I don't throw it here. Green to the left of Harris. But we'll see what Chad Zabola's upstairs is gonna call. Harris rolls to the left side. He's Looks like he's going to pass. Looks like now he's going to run. Runs up the field down to the 23-yard line. But he made the mistake. He shouldn't have gone out of bounds. They should have run the out. other side. Agreed. You don't want to go out of bounds. You give Merrimack the ball back. Stay in bounds. Get tackled. Keep the clock running. Now yep. it's third. <coughs> 31 to go for a first down from the Nashville North from their own 22-yard line. The clock has stopped with a minute seven left. In the out of bounds play. Chad Zabola yeah. signals the play down and they're signaling it in now. The defensive players on the from the middle to the bottom of your screen are Dyer at defensive end, Wood, and Twardowski. Three of their best defenders on the wide side of the field. Right, home. exactly. I think that's what Kip Jackson is staying with. 
National North calls a timeout. A little mix up on a play. Well, better safe than sorry. It didn't cost him any clock time because it's 107 o'clock stop when he went out of bounds. That's right. They might as well get on the same page here instead of making a mistake way down in their own zone. Freshman game was played yesterday, Tom. Um, Nashville freshman, Paul LeBlanc's team beat Merrimack 50 to 35. Ooh, 50 Nashville points. North freshman, five one and one on the season. 50 points. He's got four freshmen on the varsity. How much does a freshman, now you coach at that, you've coached yes, at I that did. level. How much does a freshman record translate two years down the road? That's a great question, Tom. It's funny, only a few years that I've had some great freshman teams, I go, if anybody's going to be competing for that championship, it's these guys. You know. And yep. sure enough, as seniors there, they were with, um, with Dylan Broder. You had um, Brendan Karkanis. Those quarterbacks made it, so they did make it to the finals. Sometimes, you know, you got injuries, you got people changing schools, suspensions, and things like that. And then uh, Harris is going to look to throw. He's rolling out to the right side, still looking deep downfield. Tosses it up for Sam Nichols, who makes... A great catch down by the 40, 39 yard line of Merrimack. What a play by Nichols. Well, we got a flag down there, Tom, though. And it's Hold back off. in the area of holding. What a throw by Harris. It's Rolling out on a full area sprint. Of holding. No flag. They pick it up. All right, he's using it as a handkerchief. It's back in his pocket. Great play by Harris. Who 37 down. yards on the pass. Wow. So now Perfect with spiral on the run to Sam Nichols. Great so catch. So now you pretty much take the ball out of Merrimack's hands. They're not going to get it back before the end of the half. The coverage wasn't bad either, Tom. There was two guys right there. Yeah, it was them. a jump ball. Low snap. Harris keeps the ball on a read option. And I'll tell you Tackle what, Ron. Tackle made by 52. Melee. Harris is lucky he didn't fumble it because he ran into that crowd of players. That ball was out the ball there. ball out. Yes. I think he was fumbling with a little bit on the timing. Again, the snap, you know, they've had problems with the snap. There's no doubt about it. No gain for Harris. It'll be second down and 10. And 42 timeout. seconds left to go. Is that North timeout, Tom? <coughs> North timeout. Yeah, they want to punch it in before this uh, happens. They half sure is out. do. BG leads Spalding 7 0 at the half. Big win. Big, big game for BG out there, as we talked about earlier, Tom. But Merrimack's got to find a way to get their passing game going back in this game. Well, do they throw the ball? 42 seconds left. You've only got one timeout, but you have the spike option. If you can get up to the line of scrimmage, if Harris pulls off a long run, it doesn't get into the end zone. Well, they go trips to the left side there, Tom. You've got four Green to the left of You've got Harris. three players on that side who can block. I'd say run Harris. Oh. oh, bad snap. Harris yep. rolls left, gets it with his left hand, throws it on the run to Nichols, who spins down to the 19-yard line. Another bad snap, but Harris recovers like you said, to Ron. see a righty quarterback roll to his left yep. and throw it like that. And it was a gun. It was, it was, a, was a bullet. It was a, yeah, it was a, a howitzer. Ball at the 19-yard line. Now it strips to the right side. Look for Harris to come to the right side. 28 seconds left, clock is ticking. Hand off up the middle to Green, gets down to the 15 yard line. Now the clock's ticking, 20 seconds. Timeout on North. Interesting to give the ball to Green. I would have kept it in Curtis Harris's hands. You have the wide side of the field, all that room. And they still do now, Tom. And I gotta tell you, rolling out to the left for a righty quarterback, or le right to the left. To throw across your body like that? The way you practice it is it's called goofy foot. You put your wrong foot forward in practice and learn to throw. And um, obviously he's been practicing his goofy foot workouts because you're opposite. You have to turn your body and have your left hip throw, throw as you're rolling to the left, point to the receiver. It's very difficult to do if you don't practice it. A goofy foot. Does that make any sense? But a productive That's play. That's what we called it. <laughs> A little practice slang. Goofy foot, but no Mickey Mouse play there, Ron. They got good yardage out of it. I wish they had this stuff when I was in the <laughs> 70s. Nobody taught me goofy foot. 
Well, what foot do you put forward here? You're at the 16-yard line. You've got 19 seconds left. You've got the wide side of the field. They have no timeouts. They're going to put the ball in the air, Tom. Read option with a pass involved. If Harris sees an opening, he can get to the uh, end he's zone. He's got to go to the right side, I think, don't you? Fake. No. Harris back to pass. Got Sam Nichols, Nichols in the end zone. Great catch by Nichols. Touchdown. Wow. I think that's as much on the receiver as it is on the quarterback. Nichols with a great, great catch. Nichols does not wait for the ball to come down. He goes up high after the ball, catches it at its highest point. He's, he's five foot nothing over there, but he's playing like a six footer. Great play by Nichols. Two tremendous plays on Nichols on this drive. And at halftime, North is gonna go into the locker room barring a long return with a potential 24 point advantage. Well, then now we're getting into that question that the Patriots have every week, Tom. Do you let Harris play the second half, or do you? Get oh some no, you got to. Yeah, no, no, no. Merrimack's too explosive. You got to keep the pressure on. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. No question about it. Kick is up and good for Cunningham. He is five for five, or four for four with extra points. Thirteen seconds left to go in the half, Tom. North thirty-one, Merrimack seven. So Curtis Harris who has run for three TDs, has now thrown for one. And it is a route, turning into a route, here at Stello Stadium. I mean, that was a good coverage out there by number 11, Brett Michael Levitz. It's just great play by Nichols. It looks like they try to get Nichols single coverage on that left side. Well, they had to, trips to the other they side. They had single coverage. He's beaten uh, number he's 11 t twice now. Once on the pass, on the catch for the for the uh, long gain of 37 yards. The 12-yard out that he caught. But the big one, the 16-yarder in the end zone. Nichols is not that tall, and he is out jumping the competition. And he's got Paul pumped up. I wonder if he's going to kick it out of the end zone here, Tom, after that, that last series for him. Nope. He just squibs it down the middle, caught by number six. Twardowski, and Twardowski's Twardowski dangerous. Made a big run back earlier. He's keeping his feet going all the way out to the 38-yard line of Merrimack with seven, seven seconds, seconds left. left. And Dowling's probably going to try, probably try a hail mary and heave it down the field. That's my guess here for the last play of the half. And he's got to deal with Harris back there playing deep safety. You see it on film. You practice it all week, and yet. Number 21 just seems to beat you in many different ways. Players like that, Tom, don't come around often. Well, they sure don't. And it looks like there's a timeout. It's got to be Merrimax, right? Or did North take the timeout? They no, they were, out of, they were out of timeouts. They were out of timeouts. It was a Merrimax. Oh, re-kick. Procedure against Nashua North. So they will re-kick the football. How about that, Ducky? Didn't see anything there. Did you see I a flag? I think somebody might have been over the line. I didn't see the replay, Tom. I'm looking at the Oh, there's the flag. The oh, yeah, flag they're way is, over the line. The flag is at the 40-yard yeah, line. Yeah, I could see. I just saw it on the replay. But, um, offside on the, uh, to the first guy to the left of the kicker. So Nichols will kick again, and what do you do here? You squib it? He'll do the same thing. He'll be squibbing it right down to the field. That's why they moved up um, Zach Twardowski in the first place. Is that Dyer back there with him? Nichols no, goes, Dyer may be one of the up men. Pops it up over to Twardowski once again, catches it at his own 28. He's going to the roll away to the right side, cuts back to the left in the middle of the field. Brought down by number eight, Devin Brasidi. We still have seven seconds left on the clock. because they had to reset the clock, Tom, because of the offside. We get uh, trips to the left, Tom. Single, single receiver on the right side. Spread formation, Dowling. They go for it, Tom, or do they spread no, it I, safe? I, Hail Mary all the way. Safe. Nope, they can just run it. Look Hand for it. Goes to the right, cuts back, 
and that'll do it. Field and with a bunch of blue shirts. That will do it for the end of the first half, everybody, here at Stello Stadium. Jose Velasquez in on the tackle, with a bunch of other blue shirts out there. Not halftime. a big surprise in terms of the score, but maybe not so much in terms of who's ahead. The score at halftime here at Stellos. It is National North 31 and Merrimack 7. We'll be back with the second half right after this. Everybody has a dream. Mine was to see the ocean. And with a little help, I made it. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you here tonight on Senior Night, where we will now honor the Spirit Team and their families as we celebrate their contributions to Nashua High School North and the Titan culture they have come to embody and represent. You have made Nashua North proud and we thank you for your efforts and we wish you well. Ladies and gentlemen, first we have senior Emily Arana. Emily will meet members of her family at the 50 yard line. Next up, we have senior Brianna Pelletier. Next, we have senior Quinn Greenleaf. Next up, we have senior Juliana Moreno. Next up, we have senior Amanda Keim. Next up, senior Lauren Oliver. Next, we have senior Paige Brooks. <laughs> Next, 
Next, we have senior Matty Simpson. We would like to thank these young ladies for your support of the Nashua North Titans and wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors. One last time, ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2020, the senior cheerleaders. Congratulations, ladies. And welcome back to the second half, everybody here at Stello Stadium. I'm Tom King along with Ron Wolliver. Tim O'Neill on camera. Pete Johnson, our executive producer. We've got a 31-7 Nashua North lead. Curtis Harris, the numbers uh, on Harris right now, he has got uh, 13 carries, 154 yards. And that's with that 16-yard sack he had to take after the bad snap. Yeah, the sack and he had the first play of the game, the eight yard loss. And four touchdowns, and he's thrown for a TD to Sam Nichols. So that's what we've got. Harris's touchdowns, 62 yards. And his second, nine yards. And his third, a 34 yarder. And that's it, three touchdowns. So three touchdowns rushing for Harris. And then the touchdown pass of 16 yards to Sam Nichols. And then Lucas Cunningham, for good measure, early and late in the first quarter, booted a 26-yard field goal. Merrimack's lone score set up by a 59-yard Zach Twardowski kickoff return. And that set up a two-yard run by Jared Dyer. And that's where we stand, 31-7 at the half. Merrimack has managed 62 yards of total offense in the first half. That's not going to get it done. That's right, Tom. And, and what do you say as a head coach? What does Kip Jackson tell his kids? You've got to stop Harris. You've been telling them all week. And oh, they've been whatever, working on it all week. That's I right. mean, what adjustments do they make now? You know, I'd love to know who the kid was who had to play Harris in the scout team because, you know, he was getting tackled all week long, which gave them a lot of confidence. But it's different when you see it in, you know, in, in reality, when reality strikes. Do we have any stats on his 40-yard uh, dash, Tom? It looks like about a 40. No, I don't know what maybe. his 40 is. Merrimack will receive the second half kickoff. Merrimack deferred earlier. We thought it might matter, but right now with 31-7. Sam Nichols has been kind of squibbing the, squibbing the ball to the up backs around the 20-yard line. The kick goes down, right down to number seven. It'll be taken Devin there Wood by Wood. Runs right at the middle, hard, all the way out to the 40. And he's down at the 42-yard line. First and 10. Wood, run, straight ahead, simple. Straight north, ahead north running. And, north and south, baby, that's what it's all about. So Merrimack will take over first and 10. They got the ball back. They got those two possessions, but they didn't mean anything though. That's right. The first one didn't anyway. First and 10 at the 43 yard line for Merrimack. Tom King along with Ron Welliver. Ron will have the call for you in the fourth quarter. I'll take the third. <laughs> now that we got and that we'll, straight. And up. we'll see what you see on the field, Ron, because how does National North play this up 31-7? They go right at him again, I would imagine. They can go right at him. Pedal to the middle. Dowling, and Dowling runs it 
down to the 50-yard line. And I'll tell you what Merrimack has done. That wasn't a QB keeper. That was Kyle Crampton as the quarterback handing off to Dally at running back. They like that. We Dally, talked about that before the game. Dally's comes. not bad as a running back. That's what they have now. To Kyle, Kyle Crampton at quarterback. Kyle Ten, Crampton. Sophomore. Yep, we've seen this before out of Merrimack. They did it against Bishop Girton. Twardowski, Twardowski spins away. He gets across midfield all the way down to the 38-yard line. Maybe the 37. Zach Twardowski. Twardowski's in the backfield with that quarterback, Kyle Crampton. Dowling's off to the right in the slot. Yep, they're going to go with this the rest of the half, I would imagine, because it works. He gets another skilled player out there. Dyer on the carry, but he's brought down after a gain of maybe one. Oh, down nice hit, hard hit by Lucas Cunningham coming from the backside on that Dyer handoff. No, it's no injury. This is what they do. They, they've done it before earlier in the season. They like Dowling at the running back spot sometimes. That's, That's going to be a running pass. play. That's not a pass. It's a run. It was a backwards pass. It was a live ball, and Twardowski takes it. And he gets across the 30 all the way down to 26. Down. Nice play by the sophomore, Kyle Crampton. He kept his head. The had that, his safety valve off to the left. And but but that and pass nice was play. backwards. So yes, he's going to be credited with a run of 10 yards. It's a lateral. Yep, down to the 26-yard line. First and 10, 26-yard line, Merrimack. And just like that, they're in Titan territory. And Twardowski in the middle of the pile gets maybe a yard and a half. Jose Velasquez there again. Short gain to about the 24, just inside the 25 yard line. Second and eight. Crampton looks over for the call. Play action to Twardowski, but he is sacked. Now that was not number seven on the sack. That was number 57. Justin Edwards, the guy not on the program, Tom. There's a lot of guys not on the program tonight. So, Captain with a pass, he gets Devin Wood on a on on a on the uh, inside pass. The slot man gets down to the original line of scrimmage, but that's it. That's the old jailbreak pass where he goes downfield, comes back, takes the screen pass, hopes for a block of two from the lineman. Well played by Kyle Crampton. Fourth and ten, Fourth Tom. And ten at the twenty-six. Crampton looks. He's going for the end zone. It's going to be overthrown. No flags. And Crampton Merrimack handed goes. off to Dowling, who came back and made that play to the end zone. Merrimack. Didn't fake on anybody. Nope. Exactly. And you know what? You just said the magic words. I would have given the ball more on this set, set to James Dowling. I think that he is a good runner. I think. I think they had a better shot of getting the first down if he ran the ball. Just I then, think Tom. they're better off with Dowling running the football. And they weren't able to do it. But see, the problem, Ron, and you probably agree with this as a coach, the clock's not your friend anymore. It's 8.51, you get a quarter and maybe just a little over a half of a quarter to try to make up 24 points. He's and gotta who, get in the end zone, you're right. And who knows what Curtis Harris can add to it. First and 10 at the 26 for North. Harris is. Mwangi is taken down in the backfield, a loss of maybe seven yards. He hit the, he probably should have just taken the one yard loss on the line of scrimmage, but he tried to spin out of that and uh, got nowhere. Nice play by the Merrimack D-line. Oh, second and long, second and 17 from the 24 yard line, from the 19 yard line. Tough situation for North. Their defense held, and now their offense will try to keep the ball. 
Harris straight ahead across the 25 to the 27 yard line. So Curtis Harris gets about eight yards back after that seven yard read loss. option fake to Mwangi and then right up the middle that we talked about. Third and nine at the 27. One thing Harris has got to do though, when he does hand off, he's got to continue with his fake and not watch the play. Third and nine to 27. Harris with a fake, he's gonna run it now, he's gonna throw oh, to Espinal, who gets nailed. Jake Trahan, what a wow. hit. Wow. But, was he close to a first down? I think he got a first down. No, he's a yard short, Tommy. Nope, uh, they're pushing it down, you're they're right. They're pushing it down, he got across to the 36, that's a first. Wow. What a present, great hit by Trahan, but what a presence of mind of Espinal to hold on to that football. Flags are flying now, Tom. Jake Trahan on the tackle. Unsportsmanlike on Merrimack there, Tom. They gonna call helmet to helmet? Not sure if it was that or um, maybe something inappropriate oh, yelled out. Uh, see, that's 24 is coming off the field. That's not good. Is that number 24? Unsportsmanlike conduct on Merrimack. That's the last thing they needed now, Tom. Boy, it really is, because now it just you just give Harris more yards. So, so now it'll be first and 10 at the 49 of Merrimack for Nashua North, with 7.05 to play third quarter in a 31-7 game. Straight ahead, Anthony Green, and a nice run for Green. He's your bread and butter guy. You know, that's what he does, and he gets down to the 42. He's been throwing blocks all night, Tom. That's his job, bread and butter. And down to the 43 yard line, they gave him six yards. Second and four from the 43. Harris almost dropped it and he gets nailed at the 45 yard line. Dyer was in on the tackle. I think Dyer, Dyer was there as well as. Looked like it was a flubbed read yep. option, Tom. John got, Rowe. Hung on to the ball and it's, we talked about that did, before. Did the hesitation there. cause any yeah. problems? The snap cause any problems there? Yeah, might have. Loss of two. Third and six from the 45. Harris out of the shotgun. Looks to the line of scrimmage, changes the play. What do you think, Ron? Third and six, they may be putting it up, Tom. Pedal to the metal. Got three receivers, time. bottom of your screen. No, Harris is gonna run straight ahead. Just as good as any other call. Good grief, I'm First telling down. you, he just pushes right ahead. And that spot should give him a first down. Depends on the knee. I think he got it. It's down at the 39 yard line. That's where they had to be. That should be a first down. Six yard run for Harris. They gave him the first down. Yep, right there. First and 10. First down. That was a pretty much here I come, stop me. South Volleyball. Congratulations to them. They defeat Bishop Girton 3 to nothing. They finished the season 18 and 0. They may be the top seed in the tournament. And another flag, I think. As Harris gets to the 36, a gain of three. That was a nice fake that time to Green, put it right in his belly and uh, had problem, a lot of people fooled. The even problem the was is there was nowhere for him to run, Ron. It's a good fake if you're on the white on the wide side with all that room, but no room at all. You can't really do a whole lot, but a penalty helps them out again. A face mask at the 37, and it's gonna take it all the way down, 15 yards to the 22 yard line. Frustration setting in now, Tom. Haven't seen any penalties, what, barely any the first half. No. Now two huge penalties against Merrimack. First and 10 at the 22. 
Espinal's back on there on offense. Espinal in the slot. Now he's in motion. He comes back. He goes back and he gets the ball. You, I think that's what they're going to call. They're going to call the double motion on Espinal and they're going to call the flag. Procedure that'll make it back to the 27 yard line, first and 15. Is that what he did, Ron? Can yeah, you I, think, that? I think when he made the cut to come back, he went forward just a little bit instead of staying back. Yep. <clears throat> this quarter can't end soon enough when my voice goes because you, you'll be taken over in the fourth quarter. First and 15. Harris, the handoff to Green. Green tries to get to the 25, and he gets stopped short at the 26-yard line. Trahan was there, along with number 52 for Merrimack. And Dyer was uh, making some noise in there also. Yep. Second and 14 at the 26. Harris tries to get forward and can it do it? And watch out, Harris is hurt. Uh-oh. And this is what you fear all season long. And he's holding his left knee. Wow. And this is going to be a real problem. Oh, boy. Just what you didn't want to see if you're a football fan for either side, really. That's what we talked about, Tom, right at the end of the half. But Harris in a lot of pain. It is the left knee that they're working on. Tackle by 72, the best lineman, Cole Chamberlain. And um, I just saw the replay and it was he landed awkwardly after that tackle. Hopefully it's nothing too serious. Wow. And that really, you can hear a pin drop at Stello Stadium. An absolute pin drop. Harris is up. Now let's see how he walks. He's walking, but he's limping. Class act by James Dowling. Yep. Comes right over. to Merrimack yep. to see if he was okay. So let's see, Jaden Espinal is going to be the quarterback. Yeah. yeah, he's walking off. He should be done, but it's not limping too bad. He's with the uh, trainer, Aaron yep. Dresser, right now. Yeah, but they're going to go inside. Yeah, he's done. He's done. He's done for the night. No doubt about it. 340 left in the third. On a no gain run, third and four. Mwangi is brought down at the 30, and that's going to do that. I tell you, the Merrimack D line has come out to play this second. They half. really they have. They've done a great job, and that's one of the reasons why Harris got hurt. It's Cole Chamberlain. But a hush fell over Stellos Stadium. And let's see if we Third have- 18, Tom, from the 29. And Espinal is coming over to the sideline. And somebody had to call timeout. There's no flag and the clock is stopped. 
So how does that work? No, they were. The trainer came on the field, but then walked back. Doc, the doctor came. The doctor is going out. It's the doctor. Yeah, Aaron Dresser is with Kara, so that's the doctor. Yep, that's the doctor running across the Hopefully, field. Hopefully um, it's nothing too serious on the Merrimack sideline. Yeah, there's a player in the background who's down. He's on a knee, and we don't know who. We can't tell. Third and 18 from the 29-yard line. Espinal back to throw. Heaves it into the end zone, and this is going to be picked off. It was ricocheted into the hands of number nine for Merrimack. That's Trahan. Jack Trahan and the what ball a play is by Zach Twardowski. Twardowski who tipped it, tipped it over right to him. Beautiful play. It wasn't an accident either. And returned out to the. Now 37? out the 37-yard line. Yep, that's where it's going to be. First and 10 for Merrimack. But, boy, there's just a shock in this stadium right now. Now, you, you, you've you played. You're an athlete. Harris walks off the field like that. What do you see? I, I, I You said you can hear a pin drop from the stands. But when you see him walk off like that. I think it affects the whole team. Yep. I think it's, they're not sure what's going on. Espinal just actually made a very good pass. He's just well defended by the uh, Merrimack. He threw it into a Trudowski, double coverage. Trudowski on the carry. He gets out to the 38-yard line. Merrimack's chomping at the bit now. They want to take over momentum. That's just which it. they did in that first drive. Second and nine from the 38. Crampton throws. It's incomplete. Crampton to Dowling. Looks like a flood pass. Get Jake Trahan up and open deep a little bit. Third and nine from the 38. 155 to play here in the period. Crampton back to throw. He's going to be in trouble and he's going to be sacked. Travis Holbrook, nice Travis play. Travis Holbrook with the big play. I'm sure his father Todd Holbrook is pretty happy about that. Any momentum Merrimack had. Gone. At that play right there. Great play by Holbrook. A 15 yard sack credited to Travis Holbrook and it's fourth down. <laughs> Punt end over end. Good punt is going to take a backward spot at the 49-yard line. That's where the Titans will take over first and 10. But they'll do so without Curtis Harris, who left the game with an apparent knee injury, his left knee. He did walk off the field under his own power, but they went and took him inside right away to get checked out. And who knows if there's anything else coming out. We'll find out after the game if there's anything, if there's any news. I doubt it. Andy Berry will be the new quarterback for National North, who will take over first and 10 at their, at their 49 yard line. Espinel's going back to his H position in the slot. <laughs> Berry in the shotgun. And hands off to Mwangi. Mwangi across the 50, down to about the 47-yard line of Merrimack. Nice run. Mwangi's running the ball hard today, Tom. He really is. Well, they all are. I mean, but he really is especially. And if he's not running, he's blocking, just like Green. Both all doing the same thing. Second and seven for the 48. Clock ticking now. 49 seconds left to play in the quarter. 31-7 lead. Green on the run. 
green across the 45 and just to the 40, barely to the 44. A pickup of maybe three. North just nickeling and diming it right now and letting that clock tick down. It'll be third down and four from the 45 yard line. Just nice tackle by number 28, Sean Morley from Merrimack. Looks like they need another trainer somewhere, Tom. We have time out until we find that trainer. Well, the trainer was in with Harris. The doctor's over with another kid. Let's see. Where are they, across the field? Here comes Aaron now. Yep, as they go across the field to Get some help. I'm looking for the injured player. I don't see anybody. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. But I don't see, let's see where they're going. She's just talking to, uh, yeah. Talking John to Rowe. John Rowe. So maybe Rowe might have been a little dizzy. And that's what they're gonna do. They're gonna do a little testing on Rowe. And the clock runs down, and that's the end of the third quarter. North will take over third and four at, their, at the Merrimack 45 when we start the fourth quarter. The score is Nashua North 31. It remains the same. Mer Merrimack 7. But the biggest event of the night, Curtis Harris, looked like he twisted his knee and had to be helped up after being examined. He was in a lot of pain, but then walked off the field and then taken by the trainer into the locker room, and that's the last we've seen of him. The fact that he walked off not limping, Tom, is, is real good news. Hopefully it's just a minor he, sprain. He limps slightly, but we'll see. Bishop Girton up 14 nothing over Spalding. Looks like Spalding's giving them all they can handle out there. Well, Spalding is not a bad team, but they have trouble finishing plays. They've got a good offense, they've got skilled position people who can play, but <coughs> it's tough. Looks like John Rose coming off the field for Merrimack over to the, uh, this side, be treated. Let's hope he's okay. Third and four from the 45-yard line, and you're looking at the Nashville North offense of maybe two years from now because there's no Harris. That could be, Tom. Yep. Espinal takes the handoff. I think he was looking to throw almost, but now he's going to run it. And nowhere to go as he's dropped down to 47, a loss of... Defensive Van Dyer just kept that play inside of him. He sure did. A loss of two on the play. A nice play by Dyer. Espinal was trying to get outside of him. Dyer would have none of that. Fourth and four from the 47, and you've got to think that Nashville North is going to punt the football. Punting team's coming on, Tom. For the second time tonight. And again, you look for Curtis Harris. to, And Harris is on the sideline. He is on the sideline, and he's talking with Zach Harris. Harris is on the sideline, in uniform, helmet on, but I think they're gonna tell him, no, 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 you're not going Where out there. Going? Yeah, exactly. They had to hold him. They had to hold him from going out there. <laughs> Yeah, they'll hold him. No way you're going in, pal. I don't see anything different on his knee. Just got his sock off. Probably has some ice on it. Yep. He is a little gingerly Gee, standing on it. He is ginger it. standing on it. You're right. So the punt goes down to the seven-yard line. First and ten for Merrimack at their own seven. And take it away, Ron Welliver. Thank you, Tom. Can't tell who that was. Number 18, I believe it was Dowling running to the left. That's yeah, Dowling. 
I was watching Harris caught me by surprise there, Tom. Dally with three yards. Here's Merrimack. Quarterback Kyle Crampton. In the spread formation, double slot. Running back to the left. Sorry, to the right. Number nine's in motion. Handoff goes to. Looks like Zach Kradowski. Nowhere. Nowhere to go as the Titan defense just ran him down. Brought down by a host of Titan defenders. I think there was number 51, Travis Holbrook. Yeah, again. Holbrook was leading that charge along with Devin Brissetti. He had a little help. So North has done a good job on the wide side. They really haven't given them the outside Third at all. down and 12. <coughs> In motion, fake the motion, pass out to the outside to number 18, James Dowling. Game for about three yards. Looks like it's like fourth and nine. Fourth and nine, they'll punt the ball. Let's see where they spot it. They will punt it, I don't think it really is gonna be an issue. It's like a penalty on North, Tom, did you see what it was? No, it did not. Personal foul, probably Personal a late foul. hit. Probably a late hit. Or a helmet hit. But apparently, Could be a helmet. Yep. Never know. Crampton There's, in the backfield. We got trips to the left side. Balls at the 25. He's going back to pass. Looking to the left. Over the middle. Throws to number 18. Knockdown. Well covered by number six, Andy Barry. Crampton throwing to Dowling in a crowd of people. Number seven. Espinal was there also. Second, down and ten. Second and ten for Merrimack, again out of the spread. Dave Jackson sends in the signals. In motion goes number 18, James Dowling. A handoff to Dowling, wide open down the right sideline. It's like Zach Kwiatkowski. Touchdown, He's... Merrimack. Wow. Halfback pass to the one quarterback to the next quarterback. Dally to Twardowski. Is it Twardowski? Or was it Wood? It was Wood. We apologize. Couldn't see the numbers. It was Devin Wood. 15, One of their best receivers. 15 to 18 to 7, right? Backup quarterback, starting quarterback yep. down the field. Boy, Dowling throws a nice ball, Tom, when it's on the line. It's when he gets when he gets air underneath it that he has problems. Beautiful pass to a wide open wood. 31-13 with nine minutes, 17 seconds left. And they'll go for two. Ah, oh, they got flagged there. So much for the two. False start. Yep, false start. They had five wide receivers with Crampton alone in the backfield going for two. Still going for two, Tom. Yeah, I would. Why not? You got they nothing got to lose. Five receivers out. They got, got twins to the right side with Jared. Got nothing to lose. It's basically Dyer. it's basically an empty backfield, and some more timeout. Nashua North. Timeout. <laughs> and if you're looking for Curtis Jared Harris, Jared Dyer was directly behind Devin Wood, way out to the right, which I love that formation, as Jason Roby could tell if, you. If you're looking for Curtis Harris, he is on the sidelines. He's not going anywhere. No, but he's still with his helmet on. Time out on the field with 9.17 left to go in the fourth quarter. Nashville North 31, Merrimack 13. Looks like Merrimack may go for two. Time out was called by Nashville North to go over the defense to prevent the two point conversion, which would put them within 16 points. From North, Merrimack's not giving up. They got Harris out of the game. Okay, they stayed in 
Trips left. Twins to the right with Dyer directly behind. Jump ball for Dyer run. Wood. First in, out, and that's exactly what it is. Over to the middle, overthrown. They had Dyer they had open. Dyer wide open on the right side. Wide yeah. open, no one near they him. Threw it to Devin Wood over the middle, right. who had a little step. And it was too high. Devin Wood was open too, but the pass was high. It's tough to cover. You got two receivers directly behind each other, which I love the formation because one cuts one way, one cuts the other. Defense might not know who's covering who. Reminds me of that little X pass that Seattle did in the Super Bowl a few years back. Didn't work out too well, but that was pretty much similar. Yeah. And they probably should have handed it off, but we won't, we won't get into that. Oh, that was awful. Do you see an onside kick here, Tom, or do you see it going deep? I would say. Too early with, for an onside. Uh, no, 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 no. It's not. Because you know why? North's offense is now not North's offense anymore. It's not the same. Good thinking, so Tom. Why not? Good you got thinking. nothing to lose. Why not? You got nothing to lose. You're down 18 points with 9.17 to play. So you need three scores. You got to get the ball back. Right. You got to get the ball back. So. I would, I would onside kick it. Jason Roby onside, thumbs up, thumbs down. No way. That's true, but the clock is not your friend. Yes, and there's discussion and yeah. argument going on out here. They kicked it deep. Nice call by Jason Roby. Number 16 from Nashua North, Derek Finlay. So my point is, sure, you win the field position and everything else. But you only had nine minutes left in the game. So we'll see. Nice little return by Finlay out to the 29-yard line. Now, if you're National North, what you want to do here... Control the football. Team. Well, you want to take at least, in this drive, two to three minutes off the clock if you can. Four even or five. If even if you don't get yard... Well, I don't know if they can move the ball to get four or five. It's read option. And Barry carries it. And he carries it for about six yards. It's a nice run by Andy Barry off to the right yeah. side. Nice little five yard game on the read option. National lineup in the spread offense. Green right behind the right guard. Look, power eye. Second and spread, four. Spread formation. Handoff goes to Espinal off to the right side, all the way down the sideline, up to the 50 yard line. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I rest my case. I rest my case. You want the football back down 18 points. I tell you, Greenman right up the middle to make a block. I thought that is a 20 yard run. I think the play was going up the middle, Tom, too. 19. He bounced that outside. Nice play by Espinal. First and 10 at the 48. And the clock is running. Eight minutes, eight seconds left to go. Power formation again. Green behind the left guard. Snap back. Hand off to Espinal once again, cuts inside, gets three Espinall. yards, and thrown down with authority by 72, Chamberlain. They're going to mark him at about the 40. Cole Chamberlain does not make people go down easily. They're going to give Espinal a yard. Second down and nine for the Titans. Second nine for the Titans. They're in the full house backfield, out of the spread formation slot to the right. Looks like a sweep right out to green. Speed sweep. Green goes out to the right, out to the 46-yard line of I, Merrimack. I just keep running. Uh, Gain of about Barry. three. Get off I the sidelines. I just keep running Barry, and, and you're right. Stay away from the sidelines. You don't want to go out of bounds. And this game is not over. Out of bounds. Merrimack could get two scores very quickly to make it a, a, a real big game. Real close They'll try game. to get the ball back, and you're going to see some trickery if they have it. I'm sure they do have something up their sleeve. It's third down. And they need the ball back and need a quick score. Third down and about a long, a short eight for the 46. Trips to the left. He's, He's back it. to pass. 
Throws deep over the middle. Back there is the defender. Knockdown. Trudowski By made the six. Trudowski. Trudowski made the play. The ball was to Nichols. Trudowski almost picked it off, but the smart play would have been not to pick it off. There, I think. Again, the clock stops. Seven ten left. Now it's yeah, fourth and seven. Again, Merrimack gets the ball. Don't understand why keep the clock. Why you go out of bounds for one, and you throw the ball for two. You've got to keep in mind the clock. And they don't do it. So now they're going to have to kick it away. Punt goes down, a nice punt all the way down to the 10 yard line, taken. And I'll tell you what, making that play was Ed Brissetti for Nashua North. He did not let Jake Trahan it was. He did not let Trahan get away. And he made the tackle, and that's big. 7.01 to play, but you know what? They took the two minutes off the clock. But Ron, they could have taken another minute and a half. That's right. 7.01 left in the game. Merrimack's in the spread. Dyer in motion. Quarterback rows to the left. Throws oh, against, wow. the, against the green. Attempted to pass in number 18, James Dowling. Tough play, rolling to that left side, thrown against the grain is very tough. Lucky he wasn't sacked. As North is gonna make pressure. If I'm the National North Titans, I run everybody at this quarterback. And put all the pressure you can. Kyle Crampton puts running back in motion, handoff. Right up the middle goes number nine, Trahan, out to the right side, over to the first down marker, pretty and close to a first yeah, down. Yeah, you should have a first down. Line. They're going to mark him out of bounds right at the 30. That should be a first down. First and 10 at the 30. Now, he did the right thing by going out of bounds. Clock yes, stops. Yes, he did. Clock stops, 6.48 to play. But you know what? They're going to need another big. They need a quick score here. They need a big play. Number seven in motion, takes be the handoff. Devin Wood Devin barrels Wood his way. Oof. Up and around, tackled by Espinal. And Brissetti. Brissetti's been in a few tackles today, Tom. His North defense has played a great Second game. Second down and seven, yes they have. Merrimack waiting for the sign from Coach Dave Jackson's staff. Kip Jackson, no relation, head coach Kip Jackson. Spread formation, wide side of the field, going from right to left. Screen pass right to number seven, Wood. Right there is number 21. Wood scrambles out of it. Goes to the outside. Tackled by Andy Berry. Out of bounds. All right, the tackle was there to be made, and somehow Devin Wood bounced away from it and got a first down. Wood was supposed to go to the inside. It was a jailbreak screen where he goes over the line, comes back, gets the ball, didn't get a block, spun to the outside, and got the 10 yards for the first down. They, nice run by Wood. They had him for a, a three yard loss. North, North is ready for that. Trahan on the run. Trahan nowhere. Second down and 10. Anthony Sexton on the tackle, number nine. Five minutes, 44 seconds left to go. 31-13, North in the lead. Merrimack on the spread formation, going right to left. Brampton throws Almost. quickly to the outside. Almost picked off by Almost. Eight. Devin Brissetti was right there. And the ball was caught. Was it caught? Yes, I believe he it was just caught. picking it off. Yep. I thought he was gonna go pick six. It was caught by Wood. Nice job by Wood. Gets it out to the 46 for a Talk five yard Kip game. Jackson earlier, Wood's got his best receiver. Uh, he and his brother were great last year for Merrimack and Devin is carrying the torch again this year. Here's Wood with the carry, nowhere to go. Yeah, that time they were able to make the tackle. In his way is number 61, Max Ackerman. Yeah, Spencer was there also. Merrimack out of the spread. 
Number 18 goes in motion, gets the handoff, James Dowling. And that's why I love Dowling. Spinning Dallin. all the way out to the 50-yard line, close to a first down. Oh, Looks he, like he got it, He Tom. got it. His forward progress took him to the 47, 48-yard line. That's why I love He's I a love, runner. He can run. That's just it. I like Dally better as a runner. And he can throw that uh, halfback pass, which we uh, saw earlier. Exactly. Maybe they're setting that one up again. Who knows? Spread formation. Running quickly. Handoff to number six, Zach Twardowski. Fighting his way down to the 33-yard line to the first down. Stopped by Lucas Cunningham. Nice run by Trudowski. Another first down for Merrimack. Down to the Nashua 34-yard line. First and 10, Merrimack. Four minutes, 20 seconds left to go in the game. That was a 14-yard run, first and 10 Kyle Crampton gets the snap. Hands off to Dowling, looks like he's gonna throw. Rolls out to the right. He's looking, he's looking. Now Rolls he's... back to the left, now he's gonna run. Runs up the field, cuts to the middle of the field. Tackled by number 57. Justin Edwards. James Dowling ran about 40 yards to get 14, but it's a nice run and it's a first down. It was a smart move, not throwing, run out. Receivers were covered, cut back to the left, made a nice run, first down at the Nashua 21 yard line. And don't forget. Dowling's in motion again, gets the ball right off tackle, there he goes. Spinning to the middle. Tell you what, he's a, I love this kid as a runner, I really do. Second and five at the 15. Clock ticking, 3.46 to go in the game. Calls the play to the line. Again, Dowling's got to be winded in motion. Goes off tackle, scrambling up, cuts oh, to the he, middle. He's at a score. Goes to the outside. Nope. Inside to the 10 yard line. Tried to straight arm. Brissetti made the stop. And now Dowling is hurt. Well, he was exhausted. That's his third straight they wanted, play. Brissetti and, uh, wanted to help him up, and Dowling said, No, 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 I'm staying here. So now we have Dowling hurt. Looks like he lost his wind. Let's hope that's all it is. Well, now the ball's at the eight yard, seven yard line. He got eight yards on that play. Close to a first down. He's was, carried the ball on four of the last five plays for 30. Looks like the, um, Aaron Dressler's working on his left ankle, left knee area. He's carried the ball for 35 yards his last four carries. He's worked hard. One of them was, uh, that 12 yard run that was actually 40, 45 yards strong because he went to the right, all the way back to the left, back to the right, back to the middle. Somebody just took the words out of my mouth. I was just gonna say workhorse and that's exactly what he's doing. Three minutes, 31 seconds left. Aaron Dressler helps dialing up and that helps him off the field. And now he hand, is, fellas. he's really limping. Yeah, that's his yeah, left. Yeah, yep. He's not going to be able. Ankle. Yeah, he's not able to make it off the field on his own. This is a, an injury that looks worse than what happened to Harris. And Dante Lorenda even went out there to to take a look at him. Yeah, they're keeping the weight off the Fort Carroll. Oh, yeah. That's a shame. Boy, Dow Dowling has absolutely played his hard out tonight, Tom. Boy, this is a tough night. This is a real tough night. It's a hard-hitting game. It really is. First and goal now for Merrimack at the 7. Looks and like he's being replaced by number 9, Jake Trahan. Is that number 5 out there, Jameson Savikas? Trey Hans going run. wide left. Got a pretty good season going right now. Number nine yeah. in motion. There's the fake. Counter back to um, Trudowski. Trudowski. And he runs the 10. Crisscross counter. Haven't he seen that yet all night. He runs 10 to get two. Dave Jackson called that all the time when he was uh, at South. Loves that. Uh, Misdirection. Second and goal from the five. We're under three to play now. I think the outcome is no longer in doubt. Just a question of whether Merrimack can make it a closer game. 
Crampton back to pass, back in a spread formation, I'd say, back in the backfield by himself, throws over the middle to Dyer, just behind him, incomplete. Yeah, yeah you called it, Rob. He had him. You called it, he had him, the pass was just behind him, and that's just timing and practice. I'd do it again. I'd, I'd throw it again. Same play, get Dyer. Get Dyer out in the flat on the right, on the top of your screen. Well, they got Twardowski in the backfield with Crampton. Out of the but, slot formation, this is here comes Dyer in motion. Hands off to Dyer and he scrambles and, and he's pulls his way into the end zone yeah. for a touchdown. You can't stop Jason Dyer, or Jared Dyer <laughs> in that. I knew I, see now, I should you give you a quarter. quarter. Jared Dyer with a bull run. They broke that play a lot tonight, um, Tom, when they needed a few yards. Yeah. And um, when I saw him in motion, we figured that was the play coming, and that's exactly what happened. 31-19, they've made it quite respectable. You can bet there'll be an onside kick coming up. As Merrimack tries to make it interesting, they're going to go for two to put it within 10 points. Till sco two scores away still. Crampton back to pass, getting rushed. He is sacked and thrown down by number 53 for Nashua. Toby Brown. Nice play by Toby, preventing Merrimack from getting the two points, keeping it at a 12-point game. Merrimack needs two touchdowns in the next two minutes and 30 seconds. So now you do the onside kick. <laughs> Here it comes, Jason. Tom. Yep. Nashua has their hands team out there. I'm not sure if it's their starter's hands team. Deep is number, can't quite see his number. I don't think they're going to kick it deep. This is going right to that front line. It's onside to the right side. Ball's up in the air. It's free ball. Merrimack recovers. There you go. Merrimack recovers. Beautiful onside kick. Onside down to the 44. See, I, that's why I would have done it earlier. Well, that was the hands team. I'm not sure if it was the backup hands team or the uh, actual hands team, but hey, Merrimack has the ball, Tommy, with 2.25 to go. And down 12. They need two scores, and they need it fast. And this Dyer probably whispering the quarterback, give me the ball. Well, I think I don't think you do that. I think you've got to get. They're in trips left, going back to passes. Crampton throws a screen pass to the left. And almost picked off. Brissetti was going for it. That was number eight, Justin. Oh yes, number Devin Brissetti was right there. See, I don't think you give the ball up to Dyer to get four or five at a time, Ron. You don't have much time. No, it's left. not enough time. They have to go. They've got to go throw the ball downfield. I don't even think those sideline routes too much. North, they have to do them though. North is in a cover too. They're taking away yeah. the deep play. Got to throw it down the field. But remember, you don't have Harris back. Cramp, Crampton, back to pass. Looks yeah. to run. Lots of Going room. up the middle side, come to the right side. 35, 30, 25, down to the 19 yard line. First down, Merrimack. Wow. This team never quits. You gotta love it. Two minutes, 12 seconds left on the clock. Merrimack quickly lining up for a play. First and 10. Crampton throws it down, spikes the ball to stop the clock at two minutes and seven seconds. That's an awful quick five seconds over there. Beautiful play by Kyle Crampton, two oh, keeping his cool time. Sophomore quarterback, late two in the game. Two oh seven. Left to play. This he game's trips not over. to the left side. Crampton looking to pass. He's got people open over the middle. Is it? Oh, incomplete. incomplete down at the five yard line. Pass was to, I believe it was number nine, Jake Trahan. No, that was intended for five. Jameson Savikis. Is that Jameson? Yep, yeah, but eight, uh, I Espinal, apologize. Espinal was on the coverage. I apologize to Jameson. Savikis almost been a nice play. Third and ten. Third now. and ten. They need at least the first down. 
Yeah, they got to get a touchdown here. It strips to the left, looking for Dyer over the middle. Trahan's in trouble. Boom, brought down by number 51, Travis Holbrook. That Travis name again, Holbrook. Tom. Yep. At the 28 yard line. Huge play. This it'll, is it, fourth and 10. It'll be fourth and 14. My bad, you're right, Tom, you're absolutely right. Fourth, fourth and 14. Fourth and 14 at the 28-yard line. Let's see what they got up their sleeve. Dyer's off to the left, trips to the left. And what are we gonna see, Somebody timeout. Call timeout. North, North calls timeout. Yep. Smart, smart by North. They know so, they have to defend this play, keep it from getting the first down. So a little Merrimack drama. has to score, and they have to get the onside kick. A little drama. And that would be real interesting. A little drama here. Fourth and 14, Tommy, from the um, National wow. North 27-yard line. 14 yards to go. What does Merrimack have to sleep, Tommy? You think trick play? No, I, I'd say try to throw it to Trudowski or Wood or Dye. One of those three. Yeah, we haven't seen this. Wood in about a couple of series here. You're right. And uh, yeah, he was on the field. No, he wasn't he's out the there field. wide right. Yep, he was on the field last, last series. Covered by number four, Chris Azevedo. I go for Wood up the right sideline. Dyer's going to throw yep. it. He throws it on the option to Wood the end zone and flip, banged around, incomplete. And there's the, the name you called, Ron Welder, Azevedo, with the big play Nice play on Wood. by Azevedo. Stayed right with him. Yep. He was, well, from the line of scrimmage, Tom, Azevedo was 11 yards off of him. Yep, exactly. And... To throw it deep, you know he's going to throw into coverage, but Dyer can throw too. Minute 25 left in the game. Be very surprised if I saw North throw the ball right now. They probably should just run the clock down in the spread formation. Quarterback Andy Barry gets the snap, hands off two. Is that green? Anthony Green on the carry. Goes nowhere. Clock's ticking. 120 left in the game. For some reason the clock stopped. We have a timeout on Merrimack, do we? I'll tell you, Tom, that ball's completed in the end zone. We got a whole new ball game here with well, an onside kick coming with the up. The onside kick being the entire game, but I still go back to that series. Yes. Where they had the onside kick chance earlier. And I still would have done it. Yeah, I know. I know. You know, I just think that they could have gotten that ball back. It showed, you know, and it cost them two minutes on the clock. Two and a half and minutes. And that's huge. Especially when and they. In this game, in a 12 point game, I think that was pretty big. Give the Tomahawks credit, they are going down swinging. No quit in this team. Great bunch of kids uh, told to me by Kip Jackson earlier. Oh, he loves his team. I mean, he's had some great kids over the years. Yes, he has. He some really great kids. Espinal right up the middle. Quick hitter by Espinal right up the middle for about 30 yards down to the 45 yard line of Merrimack. 25-yard run for Espinal from the 30 to the 45. That pretty much seals it. That'll do it. Clock stops before they, while they mock the, excuse me, mock the ball. Well. <laughs> that was a quick hit, Tom. It's bang, bang. Before he even knew what was going on. He's, he's limping a little uh, bit Harris, from earlier, Tommy, but. Espinal limping, but so is Curtis Harris. I he's a scrapper. On the sidelines. Definitely a noticeable hit by Curtis Harris on the sidelines. I'm watching him. In the backfield is Brian Marwangi. Bedford beats Timberlane, 45 zip. Anthony Green goes behind the right guard. Marwangi to the left of the quarterback. 
I would say he's going to hand off right over towards Green. Yes, exactly what he does. Runs right through the hole. Marenghi breaks it to the outside. He's going down the sideline. 10 to the 20, 15, 10. Down to the six yard line to the five. I'm sorry, that was Green. Anthony Marenghi Green. made the block to Spring Green. Got me excited, Tom. I said 10 before he was at the 20. And he gets down to about the Five yard line? Five yard five line. Five yard line, a gain of 40 yards. North likes to do that, put one blocker right behind the guard and but, sends the guy for. But right here is where I think you take a knee, Ron Lowe. 28 seconds, only got one play left. I think he is going to take a knee. Yep, yep. takes a knee. And that'll do it. That's Dante Lamrinda, that's his class. That'll do it for today. The final score from Stello Stadium. Nashua North 31, Scrappy Merrimack 19. Thanks to our staff, Pete Johnson, whoever's out here, Tom King. Tim O'Neill upstairs. Tom King, pleasure working with you. We'll see you next time. John Collins, get back to work. Good night, everybody. <laughs>